So your job has just finished running. What do you do next? Today, I'm going to show you how to disassemble and stain your SDS page out using either page blue, Komasi, or silver staining. After you have unplugged your electrode, remove the lid, take out the inside chamber, and carefully pull out the buffer. You want to remove your glass plates carefully because they are very fragile and can break easily. Today I'm going to show you how to stain your gel using page blue. Take a microwavable container, fill it halfway with distilled water. Uh, you want to rinse your glass plates because water helps to lubricate the plates and make them easier to separate. Uh, you can remove the stacking gel from here. Uh, it's up to you, but I always remove my stacking gel. But when you remove the stacking gel, make sure you do it carefully not to rip your resolving gel. Now you put the plates upside down. Uh, hopefully the water will get between the gel and the plate. Therefore the gel will come right off your plate and into the container. Uh, if it doesn't, you can lift the corner of your gel a little bit and then the water will get between the gel and the plate. So you want to wash your gel a few times with uh, distilled water. Make sure you put the water in gently so it doesn't break the gel. When you pour the water, hold on to your gel with your finger so it doesn't come out and break into the sink. And before you microwave, we want to fill up the container with water. And we'll microwave it for about a minute. and we'll let it shake on the shaker for five minutes. Uh, before we transfer the gel, we want to make sure we remove excess water because we would not want to dilute the dye. And then we'll microwave this for about 30 seconds. Uh, by heating it up again, this helps the dye to be absorbed uh, into the gel. And then we'll let it shake on the shaker for about 10 minutes. Uh, you can shake it longer if your dye is not as fresh. And after the 10 minutes, we'll remove the gel from the dye. And again, we want to remove the excess dye. Uh, we'll wash the gel as we did before by using diesel water. So during the distending process, you can change your water several times or you can use the king wipe trick. Put in two pieces of king wipes. What king wipe does is that it's going to absorb the excess dye in the solution, which will speed up the distending process. So that's how you stain your gel using page blue. Now I'm going to tell you how to stain your gel using Komasi. Uh, you, first of all, you take your gel, you put it directly into your Komasi stain. Uh, the staining time is about 20 to 60 minutes. And after the staining is done, you take your gel and transfer it into a de-staining solution, which is made out of methanol and acetic acid. Uh, for this protocol, you do not need to microwave, but it does take a little bit longer compared to page blue. If you have thin bands, then you want to use a more sensitive staining protocol, which is silver staining. Uh, this protocol involves a series of steps. First of all, you need to fix your gel in a methanol acetic acid solution. Then you oxidize your gel by putting it into an oxidizing solution. Uh, after this step, you want to wash your gel really well uh, several times with water. Then you can stain it with silver nitrate and quickly rinse excess silver nitrate off with water. And when you want to develop your gel and try to visualize the band, you put it into a developing solution. Uh, you don't want to develop it for too long, so when you want to stop the developing process, 
you put your gel into an acidic acid solution. Again, this process does not require using a microwave. Uh, you are going to use hazardous materials. Uh, it does take a lot longer, but overall, you have a more sensitive result. Those are three different ways you can stain your gel. Komasi is the oldest method. Page blue is newer, but a lot quicker. Uh, if you want sensitivity, then you use silver staining. Choose whichever method that suits you, but beware of the hazardous materials that you will use. See you guys next time.